Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That why he left Samurai? Fuck. But you did make it. Big, too. Only diehards remember Samurai now. You? Everybody knows your name. You think that changes anything? Wake up with the same thought every damn day. That I might somehow fade into this town's steam, stench, murk, for good. Night City's the city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. Time you stop being afraid. Don't need to be. Think it's that simple? You'll be fine. Without me, too. Fuck. Yeah, sure hope so. Should get back. Everyone downstairs is waiting. For you? I know, I know. In to knock back a few to this town tonight. And me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. I'd start running if I was you. Come on, baby. Uh, Claire? Hey, Claire. Under the rig! Oh, the machine. Hmm. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat Beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. I thought you might do. What's the race like? Any special rules? Lack of them, actually. You race in pairs. Driver and gunner. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in the city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. All right, I'm done. That's enough.
Hey, looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Jim's the size of a cow truck. Wings, the boxer. Sure, he was here. Was? He say where he was going? Nah, two guys came in to see him a while back, that's all. Two guys? Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. Might still catch him. Fuck. Come on, V, take heart. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. Might be right. Speaking from experience, after all, I guess. Better fucking believe it. There's a, let's call it a sports academy. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while taxes allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. Your hand's Merc, right? How much you know about the job? Eh, not much. Hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's the sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. Name's Victoria Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victoria Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? All clear. Great. Quick scan, and you're good to go. After you, Victoria Wilson. So he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Welcome, Mrs. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. Hello. Clara Molina, Atletico Barcelona. Um, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, 
I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment? I'm afraid that won't be possible. These ain't athletes, V. They're kids. Kids way too young for this kind of crow. See that, Johnny? Heartless. Be a free spot on the other side with your name on it. The junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie McCannon. Be right with you, ma'am. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, is Kelvin Golden Strickland. Kelvin is a died in the wool fighter with Can an I get a double shot of since on tequila? Two thirds of all these bouts end in first time I take it. Which team you scouting for? interested in signing with Kelvin, please feel free to review his latest performance. Rather drink than chat. What the? That was tempered glass. What I wouldn't give and to know Fiona's secret. Punch I was talking Sorry, about. I have to close the bar Forgive for a second. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, but due to damaged equipment, this athlete showcase is on. Now's our chance to sneak behind the scenes of this fucking circus. Johnny Silverhand asking me to get up from the bar? <sighs> Something new every day.
doesn't escape! You hear me? What's your name? Tommy. <laughs> what in the... Tommy, out, now! W wait, uh, she was just looking for your office. Uh, I, I was just trying to help. Uh, please, Miss Fiona... Leave the boy out of this, please. Run along now, Tommy. Hop to it. But I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all right, Tommy. Go back to your room. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? Finally. this client who cares so much about taxes? The AEC only wants what it is owed. As they pay well, I'm only happy to oblige. Closing this contract. Hey, get back here. All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear.
What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living, and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on! It's his neighbor! This is a mega tower. Spilling to badges will get you pegged as a snitch. This'll only take a sec. Do you know, Barry? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just... be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be... touchy. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. I dreamed a dream of an endless sea. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gonk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just want to talk, that's all. I know it's what you need right now, even if you don't want to admit it. I can't turn back time for you, but I can sit next to you and listen. Remind you that you're not in this alone. Now hold on a sec. 
We barely know each other, and you just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Where'd you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone send you? You should get out there more. Go for a drink with your pals. Life goes on, Barry, and it won't wait for you to catch up. Wallowing in loneliness and self-loathing isn't gonna solve anything. Maybe I don't want to solve anything. That cross your mind? Well, all right then. Come on in. Not like you'll change anything. You never know. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This is about Andrew. I, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I've thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. That kid. Even Andrew. He's gone, and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone and wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. <laughs> it's you. You talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? I'll cry out loud, Mendez. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. Think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Got no idea. Ask him yourself. You fucking bet I will. His little temper tantrum must be over if he spilled to you. Only thing I don't know is whether to give him a taste of my fist or a shot of Boomalot. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. 